Hey, how's it going everyone? John from Now Defined by Studios here, and today I want to share with you how you can set up your audio track defaults in Ableton Live. So the reason why you might want to set up your audio track defaults is it's just kind of a quick way to help improve your productivity and your workflow. Because whenever you open up a new audio track, you'll just have your go-to plugins right there on the track. That's saving you a little bit of time so you don't have to go in and put that on each and every new audio track. So the first thing we're going to add is audio effects rack. Uh, this part is completely optional, but I like using audio effects racks for multiple reasons. You can bypass all your plugins at once, you could do easy volume automation, and other reasons I'll explain in a future video. So we'll go on ahead and create a chain and rename that to audio. And the next thing we're going to add in is a utility plugin. A utility plugin is nice because we can do any gain staging that we want to do. We can narrow the width and make the sound more mono and we can flip the phase if we need to. Next we're going to add an EQ. And as you can see, I already have a high pass filter enable as a default on my EQ. I use high pass filters quite a bit, so that's why I have saved as my default. And last, we're going to add a compressor to our chain. So I'll go on ahead and I'll disable all of those plugins so that way I could just enable them whenever I need to. So next we're going to come up here, we're going to right click and save as default audio track. And you're going to get a message, a default audio track already exists, do you want to override it? Now if this is your first time saving your default audio track, you will not get this message. But uh, if you already have a default audio track saved, you will get this message. And if you wish to override it, go on ahead and click yes. As you can see, when you create a new audio track, you get this as your default with all the plugins that we just set up. Now this isn't just limited to stock plugins, you can of course add third party plugins if you want. Alright, so let me go ahead and remove those plugins. So let's say that you want to add an SSL channel strip. So we'll go on ahead and we'll put that on our audio track. So I'm going to go on ahead, I'm going to disable that like we did before, come up here, right click, save as default audio track, override it. And now as you can see, we have an SSL channel strip on our new audio track. All right, so that's how you can set up your audio track defaults in Ableton Live. Hope this helped you guys out. If you learned something from this video, feel free to give it a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel for future production tips and tutorials. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.